Sir, my name is Professor Sethi. I am an engineer by profession and I am into a teaching profession. By God's grace, I am very strong in my maths. Uh, to start with, I appreciate your hard work and pray to God to give you double your age God has allotted you. And I thank all the Muslims here for giving me first priority to ask my question. Sir, I have gone through Bhagavad Gita, I have gone through Ramayana being Hindu. I was after temples and everything. But my brother-in-law is a Muslim. He gave me Quran. I have gone through it twice. And I can say in open, I am following your Quran very strictly. I have converted your namaz into English in the name of God, the most gracious and the most merciful, the creator, cherisher, sustainer of the worlds, the master of the day of judgment. I am reading it 12 times, 15 times, 20 times. I don't see timings. I just stand and pray to God and uh, I am very satisfied with that. The only one question I am not getting it, my source of income. Being very strong in maths, I am also a technical analyst with stock market. I am very strong with FNO market, future and option. I don't know how many people understand the stock market here. With a very intellectual mathematics and very intellectual playing the game, I am always secure and always in profit after the end of the month. It's a mathematic game which people don't understand. Is it okay to go ahead with such income? I'm suffering from this last three years. I'm, I'm, I'm earning money. I can earn money, whatever level I want to earn. But I'm very, I, I don't want to earn anything wrong. If it is wrong, I will leave that forever. And I will go into teaching profession forever. Alhamdulillah. Because that's a very good question. And I appreciate that after reading the Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana and the Hindu scriptures, he read the Quran twice and he agrees with it. He has a brother-in-law who's a Muslim and he's very strong in maths. And even I happen to be strong in maths. And in school days, right from standard one to standard nine, ten, Always back the price. Without saying, sir, mind-boggling memory. I've never seen a person like you. If and God if, God, if God grace, I will be at, the, at your place forever. If the God, if Ishwar ki marzi hui, Allah ki marzi hui, to yes. aapka shish Insh banunga isi platform par. Inshallah, Inshallah. <laughs> so, Allah will, Inshallah. First I'll come to the question and then Inshallah I'll reply to his last comment. As far as question is concerned, that you are in the stock market, about futures and options, etc. And... You are so good in maths and analyzing that always at the end of the month you make a profit. So the question is that, is this earning halal or haram? As far as the stock market is concerned, stock per se is not haram, per se. As long as the stocks you deal in, it is according to the guidelines of Islam. What is haram in Islam is raba, it's interest. There are many verses in the Quran, no less than eight different places, Almighty God says in the Quran that raba is haram. In Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 130. In Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 161. In Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse number 275, thrice. In Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse 276. As well as in Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse number 278. It says that give up your demands of riba, of interest, of usury. And those who do not give up the demands of riba and usury, verse number 279, Allah says, take notice of Allah from Allah and His Rasul, Allah and His Messenger. So dealing in interest is haram. But share market is somewhat following the principles of Islam of profit and loss sharing. Share per se, instead of taking a loan from the bank, we make partners. Because the banking system makes a rich person more rich, poor person more poor. It encourages things even in society, like in 80s, the banks fund gambling dens, alcohol bars, and Islamic system is different, Islamic banking is different. So, Islam encourages profit and loss sharing. In the stock market, what do you do? That you buy a share. So you become a partner in that company. Whether 1%, 10%, 0.1%, 0 0.01%. .01%. So being partner in profit and loss sharing is encouraging Islam. So if you're dealing in stock market and shares, as long as it is within the purview of the Islamic Sharia, as long as you do not buy shares of a company which deals in alcohol, company which deals in interest, financial companies, whether it be banks, whether financial instrument companies, company which deals in media obscenity, pornography. So all the evils of society, if the company you invest in is not investing in the evil of society, alcoholism or drugs or drug, pharmaceutical companies allowed, huh? drugs means cocaine and brown sugar, or dealing with obscenity, it may be film industry. So if you buy shares of these companies, it's haram. Secondly, 
if you involved in speculation, that is gambling, you know, you being in the stock market, people buy now, after two minutes again they sell, because of prior information, or because of, you know, so gambling is prohibited in Islam. So if your stock market is good, you want to invest in it, you want to stay for good, be a partner, make, and even I'm involved in the stock market. And so you're not replying to the right point I'm asking. It is futures and options. That it is put I'm in call. You, I'm you, coming to you it. You can just pay 10 rupees and buy stocks for 100 rupees and you keep it for years and years, years together. I'm coming to it. Yes, sir. I like giving a holistic reply rather than... Okay. Thanks, Lord, sir. Sorry for disturbing. Now, coming to the futures option, that you buy part of the shares and you deal with it, etc. Talking about futures, if you pay part and have it with you, I know you can sell, then you can have security on that. Then there's another person with the derivatives, which can even, I know about this. I may not be an expert like you, but I mean, this is. <laughs> so dealing in futures, it's not permitted. It's not. Margin trading in certain things like real estate, you buy 10% of that, and then it increases because they have to make timely payment. If you buy a flat, suppose, the payment time is two years. You pay 10% now, 20% later, the rates go up, you sell, that's fine. But in shares, it doesn't work like that. In future, it doesn't work like that. So because you don't possess it in your hands, you have paid part of the money, and then someone else backs you up, that if it goes down, then they hedge it. You know hedging? They hedge it. So all these things are not permitted in Islam. But pure stock, as long as the thing which you deal in, if it is Islamic, it's allowed. And you ask me the question, that all these things that you get, you get a large money income, if it's not allowed, you will like it. See, the money that you earn, as you said, if it's not permitted, you stop it. So what we are interested, we are interested in peace in this world and the Akhara. The peace in the next world is a longer peace. So if you're earning the halal, inshallah, you'll get good in this world, as well as in the Akhira. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your peace and success in this world as well as in the Akhira and the next world. Hope that answers the question. Thanks, Lord. Thanks for I appreciate for giving you so much of time. And definitely I will be following it strictly, sir. Thank you.